Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, first of all, don't mind my hair. I have a lot of baby hair and it's acting weird. So for this video, I'm going to be doing a very, very natural look. This look is super easy and I think it takes me like around 10 minutes to do and it's very lightweight. It doesn't have a lot of shadows. It's very natural. It looks fresh and I'm going to be doing this because I've noticed that I've been wearing this a lot, especially when we're just going to go out. To run errands and stuff it takes me 10 like 10 minutes to do it it's quick and yes I'm going to be showing you exactly how I do it if you guys want to see how I do the look please make sure you subscribe to my channel also please make sure you turn on that notification bell to get notified when I upload videos and please give it a thumbs up at the end if you liked it so let's go ahead and get started so first of all I already moisturized my skin I do that every morning but what I like to do first is you all know that I like to use my Smashbox primer water so I'm going to be spraying my entire face with this make sure I really spray my entire face because this really helps to moisturize my skin more than it already is oh my god these baby hairs are killing me and then after that, of course, we want to use a primer. So for this look, I have been using the Smashbox Primerizer, which is this one right here. I do have a mini one, which is almost out. And I'm going to be applying this all over my skin. For foundation, I have been using the Maybelline Fit Me foundation which looks like this. This is the matte and poreless. They do have a doing one but since I do have a bit of oil around my t-zone I really don't like to go for the dewy foundations because my face will be greasy throughout the day so I like to use something that it's matte and and this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations so I am going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me. Right now I'm Mixing two shades, which is shade 120 and I'm mixing shade 220 just because I can't find a shade in between So I am going to be mixing a little bit of both Ooh, I poured a lot. Oh my god. I made a complete mess and I have been using a foundation brush for this So I'm using the morphe m6 brush, which is just a flat um, flat top brush So I am going to be mixing these two together and then just apply it all over my skin make sure you bring it all the way to your neck you don't want to have two different shades of um, color on your skin and I do this because my neck it's a little bit darker than my face actually my whole body is a little bit darker than my face so that's why I do this and if I did not have earrings on I would go to my ears as well I should have put these after but Okay. So once again, um, I already applied my foundation. It's super light. Like I don't even put a lot because I'm going to go in with concealer. So for concealer, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And this is in the shade Nude. And I'm going to be applying this under my eye, which I get my under eye circles. And for this, I am going to be using my beauty sponge and I'm using the Morphe beauty sponge. This is the Jeffree Star one. And then I'm going to be setting it with a powder and I'm using the Too Faced Ethereal Powder. And I'm not even going to um, apply it with a sponge because I've been using just a brush to set my under eye and my whole face. So I'm just using this Morphe um, Times Jeffree Star. This is a JS2 brush. These brushes are honestly super soft. Like they're extremely soft. I really do like them. I 
I'm going to set my entire face with this powder. And like I said, a really light weight. I'm going to be super light handed with this. I have really been liking the Morphe bronzer, which is this one right here, and it's in the shade Icon. This is the lightest shade that they have. As you all can see, it's like super huge. So I am going to be bronzing my skin with it, and I'm going to be using a Morphe M257 brush. And then for contour for this look, I really don't contour except for my nose. So I am going to be grabbing this small brush right here. And I'm going to be grabbing my Anastasia Contour Kit. And I'm just slightly going to be contouring my nose right here. So with that same brush, I'm going to go into my eyeshadows. And I'm going to be using this Lorac, um, this is the Matte Pro, and this is just a mini one, and it looks like this. As you all can see, I love this shade, I already hit pan, so this is the shade that I mainly use. So I'm going to be applying this just on my crease, I'm not even going to be doing a lot with it. I just like to apply a little bit on my crease, just so my eyelids don't look um, too blank. But that's about it, this is the only shade that I apply. And then for my brows, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Brow Wiz, which is the thinner one because I feel like with this kind of look, I like to go more natural with my brows. You can still see that I shade in my brows, but it's not as much as the other one. The other one is more intense. So I am going to be shaping my eyebrows. And then to set my eyebrows in place, I'm going to be using the Tarte Busy Gal Brows. This has a little tint, so it's really going to help fill in all those sparse um, areas that I have on my brows. I'm going to be using the Sephora Coal Liner in the shade Cocoa, which looks like this. And I need to sharpen because it's not sharpened at all. So I'm going to be applying this on the top and the bottom and what I like to do with this is just apply it there, close my eyes and just, you know, apply it. So it may look a little bit weird. So now I'm going to be applying mascara to my, what is this? Oh my God, how embarrassing. There's glue stuck on my mascara. So I'm going to be applying mascara to my lashes and like I said, if you want to wear eyelashes you can if you don't want to you don't have to but I like to wear lashes just because my eyelashes are super tiny so I am going to be applying my mascara so for my eyelashes I just like to apply a very natural eyelash and I got these eyelashes from eBay if I still if I can still find them I will list them on the bottom description so you guys can go check it out because they are super affordable so I'm just going to be adding glue and I like to add the black glue. And I'm just going to be applying these on my lashes. So now that I have my eyelashes, I'm going to be using a blush and I'm going to be using the Morphe palette. And I'm just going to be going in with this middle shade right here and a little bit of pink and then just apply it a little bit on my cheeks. Just to give me a little bit of color. And then I'm going to be applying my highlighter, which I've been using a lot, the Anastasia Glow Kit. And I'm going to be adding this shade right here.
and I'm also going to be adding that on the inner part of my eye right here just to open my eye a little bit more and then for lipstick I'm going to be using the MAC cosmetics lipstick in the shade plumful And then what I like to do is just grab a little bit of powder on my fingertip and then just pat it. And then last but not least, I'm going to be spraying my entire face and I'm going to be using the Mario Badescu. This is the Aloe Sage and Orange Blossom. So that is it. This is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, <laughs> oh,